Chili Pepper's an all-around artist, you know. He's a vocalist, he's a guitar player, he's a great songwriter. He's uh he's re really got really got a real New Orleansy style to me, you know, really really bluesy and and uh you know, just undeniably original. <laughs> I mean, me and Pepper go way back. I met, you know, I met him a long time ago, and uh, he turned me on to a lot of, a lot of heavy stuff. You know, a lot of different kind of heavy stuff. Yeah. Jimmy the Dwella. Jimmy Bauer, Bauer Power. I've known Jimmy since we were kids, right in the streets of the French Quarter, in the hardcore, punk rock, whatever the hell you want to call it, degenerate, whatever. You know, we did our thing, and uh, that got us through a lot of stuff. We fell in love with that type of music, and we still do to this day. And, uh, you know, we both grew up on that stuff, and he really was into it, got influenced, got, became influential, did a lot of different stuff. Every band he's been in has been, you know, you can't punch a hole in them, man. They've been legitimate from day one. And, uh, you know, he came hooked up with us and started jamming. I mean, I've known him. We played together on several different things. It's just peas and pod, man. We know exactly what each other's thinking. Simple, you know, but he has definitely dedicated his life to playing music. That's all you can ask for somebody. I hear you. I feel you. Yeah. Woodrow. Yeah. No, oh, no. Yeah, he just got that thing that he does, the vibrato. You got that little wiggle. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. You can't do that. Yeah, nobody could do that. Only Woodrow could do that. Yeah, it's bad. All right. All right. Well, yeah. Talk to you later. Bye. Now, you guys recorded this uh, latest record and uh, recorded and mix, I should say, in 28 days. Is that uh, unusual for you guys? Is that fast? Is that uh, right it's on target? It's extremely or? unusual. Is it? Mm -hmm. How long does it usually take you? See, right now we've, we've built a studio where we practice at. So our bass player, Mike Dean, the man, has built this crazily in the same studio where he's the only person who can use a damn thing. <laughs> 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 so now we have to go record all this crap with Mike Dean behind the helm. Let's tell you, man, I mean, you know, Mike Dean, man, I've been jamming with that dude for a long time, man. He always flips me out. Man. He, every time he busts out a riff, it's like, wow, where did, where did he come up with that thing at? To me, man, Mike Dean is like the true musician of the band, you know, he's the guy that he knows what key songs are in and stuff like that, you know, it's like a, you know, me and Pep will be uh, figuring out a harmony or something like that and we're like, Mike, man, what key is this thing in, man, he knows, you know, like a F flat minor sharp or whatever the heck it is, man, so I mean, to me, man, Mike Dean's like the, the musician of the band, you know, it's kind of like what, uh, I don't know, he's a freak though. Woody and Pepper, I like how you travel. Now, Pepper, uh, you got any drag cars in the works? Yeah. What do you got? What are you working oh, on now? Oh, it's Detroit. I need to talk to you. You got to talk motors there. there, brother. You're right. in the Motor City. I know. I don't realize. What do you got working? I got that 55 Chevy with a straight axle that's on That's the it. one that's on the inside sleeve of the yeah. record. Yeah, and it's, it was a 1966 uh, NHRA record holder. Is that right? six records in 66. I found a damn thing in, in a barn in Alabama. Of the elbow, it kind of looks like a piece of hoon tag.